If you think you're a hardcore badass by sporting over-the-top tattoos or breaking quarantine rules, then you've got another thing coming. Danger's my middle name. Hate to break it to you, but you'll look like an absolute wimp beside these people who seem to eat danger for breakfast. I dare you to cross these nine people you don't want to mess with. What's up, Vacnetics? This is Discovery Amuse serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts. Our top one pick may not be as formidable in real life as the character he plays in a popular television series, but that doesn't mean he cannot pack a punch when push comes to shove. Can you guess who that gentle giant is? Stick around to find out. Time to size up these lean, mean fighting machines. Number nine, Bear Grylls. Meet the man who has endured the toughest environments and lived to tell the tale. When it comes to daredevil hijinks, name it and British survival expert Bear Grylls has already been there, done that, and got the t-shirt. You've probably seen his crazy antics in reality shows such as Man vs. Wild, Running Wild, then Get Out Alive. We've witnessed him do anything and eat almost everything to survive. A camel's intestinal fluid, elephant droppings, snakes, scorpions, and other stuff we don't even want to know. So that's fine to eat just like that. At least it's warm. He has also used seal skin to make a wetsuit, swam underneath ice in his birthday suit, and gave himself an enema while at sea. By performing an enema, you bypass the gag reflex, rehydrating your body without the risk of vomiting. Okay, I hear you, bear. You can practically throw him anywhere, and he'll claw his way back to civilization with his incomparable survival instinct. But how did he get so darn tough? You see, Grills is a former British Special Forces Unit Serviceman, Honorary Lieutenant Colonel in the British Army and Royal Marines, and the youngest ever Chief Scout of the UK. Not to mention he's also an expert black belt in Shotokan Karate. If you want to know how to survive the great outdoors, then Bear is certainly your man. Heck, he even makes starting fire sound so sexy. The fire gives you much more than just heat. It also gives you good morale, and that in the wild is vital. Keep watching because our number one pick's middle name might as well be Savage. Find out who he is. Number eight, Vito Pirbazari. This six foot five muscle clad German bodybuilder of Iranian descent may be a familiar face as he already played minor roles in Hollywood movies and TV shows, but Vito Pirbazari shot to fame for his Netflix series Dogs of Berlin. He also appeared in a couple of shorts like The Woodcutter in 2019 and Lion's Return the previous year. He's also a certified internet sensation, having amassed more than 120,000 followers on Instagram where he flaunts his ginormous guns and jacked physique. But don't be fooled by the cuts that he's got because this real-life Hulk is actually an easygoing guy who's not shy about his goofy side, too. Aww. Number 7. Blessing Awadibu As they say, if you've got it, flaunt it. And that's exactly what this bodybuilder did when he spotted a CCTV camera inside a grocery store. He even took his shirt off in public because he probably thinks he's God's gift to women, especially with a name like Blessing. This 245-pound chunk of pure muscle already earned two Arnold Classics and four International Federations of Bodybuilding titles under his belt. But the Irish bodybuilding Adonis likes to mix business with fun, as he's also a fitness influencer with over 1.7 million followers on IG. Aside from training videos, he also posts wacky clips of him pumping iron in formal attire. 
and this cautionary tale for women who want to try out weightlifting. Like that guy? I want to look nothing like him. him? Yeah. Yeah, no, you'll never ever look like that guy. Number six, Giga Uguru. Born in the United Kingdom, Giga Uguru always considered himself a real-life ninja. And why not? At the tender age of four, he was encouraged to take Taekwondo. Of course, he excelled in it, so at the age of 10, he picked up Thai boxing. As if that wasn't enough, he expanded his skill set to Krav Maga and Karate. He also threw in acrobatics and parkour to his long list of combat skills just because he can. What the hell are you? No wonder this influenced his fighting style, and man, you don't want to make him pissed as his skills enable him to attack from all directions, as you can see from this insane stunt montage. He sure has a very particular set of skills he has acquired over a very long career. But impressive fighting resume aside, Giga claims that his real strength ultimately comes from God. In his YouTube channel, he also preaches about faith and spirituality to his more than 340,000 subscribers. Faith is the ability to believe that something exists without seeing it. You could choose to accept what you're seeing as reality, the world in front of you, or you could choose to accept the word of God as your reality. Number five, Masaaki Hatsumi. At 89 years old, this man might not register as a force to be reckoned with, but hold your katanas because Masaaki Hatsumi is dubbed as the last ninjutsu master alive and people from all over the world flock to the Bujinkan Dojo north of Tokyo to seek training from the ultimate sensei himself. Just seeing how Saki is moving, it's always different and he's feeling so well, he's a backer. It's very hard to imitate that. So in essence, we were fighting ourselves. Um, there was very little that Hatsumi Sensei was doing. When he was 27, Hatsumi studied under the legendary martial artist Takamatsu Toshitsugu, known as the Tiger of Mongolia, and trained with him for 15 years. With a single finger, Hatsumi is able to block an opponent's moves and bring him to the floor in just two moves. He doesn't even seem to be using much strength to pin someone down at all. To date, it's said that Hatsumi has trained over 500,000 students from all over the planet. He also dabbles in painting as a way of teaching people about martial arts. <laughs> Number 4. JD the Iceman Anderson. This man is a Guinness certified human battering ram. Don't believe us? Well, here he is smashing a thousand pounds of ice with his head without a freaking helmet. And in case you need further proof of JD's incredible strength, let the record show that he could also bend steel bars with his teeth, roll up frying pans with his bare hands, and break baseball bats like they're toothpicks. The record-holding strongman has appeared in multiple TV shows like The Daily Show, The Tonight Show, and America's Got Talent and has traveled all over the world in the hopes of inspiring young kids to dream big. I encourage students to make good choices, make good decisions, hold on to their goals and dreams, believe in themselves, stay away from drugs, alcohol, and no matter what, don't ever let anyone tell them that they can't accomplish something. And by the way, kids, he only does these stunts to draw attention to his inspiring message, so please, don't try these at home. Number 3. Martens Lysis While this Latvian strongman was recovering after getting hit by a car in 2020, you know what he did? He showed off in his Insta how he could still squat 400 pounds. Holy sh**. 
Martin's passion for bodybuilding and strength training began when he was introduced to lifting stones in Latvia when he was a teenager. When he turned 20, he dedicated himself to training with strongman icon Odd E. Haugen in California. Looks like Martin's hard work paid off as he can bust out reps of squats while carrying 600 pounds. He has also been filmed lifting former NFL superstar and fellow giant Rob Gronkowski over his head while doing some squats. However, due to his injury sustained from the car incident, the 2019 World's Strongest Man opted out of the competition in 2020, but is dead set on claiming top honors at the Arnold Strongman Classic in 2021. Number 2. Tony Sentmanat now, if everyone in law enforcement was this swole, the bad guys wouldn't stand a chance. And you probably need a license to carry those shredded guns. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Tony Sentmanot is a Miami-born battle machine who enlisted in the Marines straight out of high school. After he showed promise in combat, he was put in the elite mission squad where he carried out special operations worldwide. Once Tony retired from the military, he decided to become a police officer and served on SWAT teams. Putting his special operations weapons expertise to practice, he even won Officer of the Year in Miami. In 2016, he retired from law enforcement and has since focused on growing his own business called Real World Tactical, where he trains people in functional fitness and combat. And if you're still coming up with a million and one excuses to skip exercises, here are some words of wisdom from Tony himself. But at the end of the day, you have to have a mentality that if you don't push yourself and you don't take it beyond that level where you know you can mentally, then you're never gonna progress. Okay, okay, I'm on it, man. Let me just finish my Big Mac. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Hathor Bjornsson. Remember the extremely ferocious warrior Sir Gregor Clegane, aka The Mountain in GOT? Oh baby, still can't get over how he demolished Oberyn Martell at the very last minute. Well, apparently, this Icelandic actor isn't just a brutal fighter on cam. He is also a professional strongman in real life. He seemed to be in good form. Who am I fighting? Towering at six foot nine and weighing 441 pounds of pure muscle, Hathor was declared as the first person to have won the Arnold Strongman Classic, Europe's Strongest Man and World's Strongest Man in the same year. In May of 2020, he deadlifted 501 kilos under strongman rules at his gym in Iceland. This achievement was televised live by ESPN and surpassed Eddie Hall's strongman deadlift record of 500 kilograms. Besides regular exercise, he credits his diet of 10,000 calories per day, equivalent to 18 Big Macs, mm, for his superhuman strength. But unlike his GOT character, Hathor has his soft side too, and he proves that even the best fall down sometimes. I haven't physically, like I haven't been able to hurt, hurt my daughter for three, three years. And that's the hardest thing I've gone through. The hardest thing is there's nothing I can do. Aw, is somebody cutting onions in here? <laughs> hey, who left this bowl of onions here? So, who among them would you like to meet in person? Let us know in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? Want to meet more people you absolutely wouldn't want to mess with? Then don't miss our list of the 10 bodybuilders who took it too far.
Till then, stay incredible, Factnatics, and see you in the next video.